All right, guys. Welcome back to the Gremlin Gamer YouTube channel, where we pretty much open anything and everything. Today, we are going to be opening a Gundam and trying to put the Gundam together. So, let's see what we can do. I got one of the cheaper Gundams that I could get. Probably, I believe it was $12 or $13 back when I got it. Um, a lot of it's in Japanese. Holy moly guacamole, this is going to be a multiple part video. But... We could start with the weapon. Um, I've got little case pieces so I could put things in different spots. Um, where do you want to start here? Is there an opening? There it is. Okay, so part one through two, two, three, part four. To start with body, A6. So I'm gonna do this in pieces. You guys will see me back and forth as I go through these. So there's C, there's B, and I believe this is A. So the biggest thing when it comes to doing plastic setups is making sure you know where your parts are at. Parts are at hand, parts are easy to get, so that when you do them, you don't get stuck in the muck and get lost. So I use a little art crate that uh, rolls around with me. Um, this is something you've probably never seen me do. In the last video, I built up my Tyranid and my uh, Space Marine. So for later videos, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that. I am nothing like Squidmar or any of the other guys. I will, they would laugh at what I'm able to do in terms of paint jobs and stuff. But um, coming from a background of doing model ships, uh, I think I should be okay with um, putting together Gundams and doing Warhammer painting. Um, so um, I'm waiting on some paints, I'm waiting on some brushes for those guys. Uh, we'll see what we can do from that. But let's get started with building the body of our Gundam. So, body, A6. So, the cool thing is, you use the snippies just like you would for... Like you would for... Warhammer. And completing a Gundam is actually one of the things that I really wanted to do. Um, I just... I stopped uh, carrying and doing things for a while, and... You know, I'm, I'm back at it, though. And I feel good. And I figured, hey, let's just try it. So anybody who's been in that place before, let me know. Um, just go out, what you need to do is find somebody to talk to, man. And they'll help you out. So we got our first two pieces. We've got A6 to A12. We're going to head and put that, oh, I got a little bit of spittle over here. So you wanna grab all of the plastics that, you, um, that are gonna mess up your build right off the bat and snip them off. That's why it's so important to have good snippies. Ones I have are not great, um, but I have some on our way. So, we can put that together. So you see the grills for exhaust go there. So then we're gonna do PC2. So PC2 is gonna be here. And we are going to use PC2. It's going to be these two here. Okay. Um, and then be careful not to snip your hands. It sucks, I've done it before. It really hurts. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's do this. I think I need to do it outside though, out inside. And if I have to, I'll use some glue to put some of these pieces together. I'm not really sure if I need to for Gundams. Um, we've got some snippy problems there. Okay, so put that there. And then put this outside here. Okay. So PC4 to C35, so let's do PC4. So C35, so this is where guys, you gotta be very careful about losing your pieces. So if you have, I'm gonna use this, but I do have a box. 
in which I can put all of my little pieces. So when I'm done for the night, I can put it away. So I recommend you guys get a divider case immediately, um, along with new snippies and um, an X-Acto knife um, and glue. All right, so I'm gonna use the box for this purpose right now, but um, you definitely don't wanna use the box for everything because you have extra stuff that needs to be opened up. So, you see right off the bat, I do have something that needs to be opened up. Now what I can do, if I had brought over my handy dandy divider, I could do one thing. I could do a couple of things. I can put my Tyranid in here. I put my Warhammer guy in here. And then also, I have a spot to put my Gundam pieces in. Okay, so we got PC to C35. So what we're gonna do here, and you might wanna get uh, vice grippers, not vice grippers, little grippies. They make it easier to pull things up too. That might be a better play. So I've used those before. Um, the craziest thing is, so when you do ships, they're not actually, some of them are not as high quality. They'll be like $10 ship uh, cases and stuff. So this actually looks like it's super easy. Even though this is a cheap, a cheaper set, we can go ahead and grab what we need. And we're going to, oh, see, you gotta be super careful. Put that together like that. And then you see how hard it, it molds into the colors too. So be very careful about that. All right, so that piece actually is gonna go into the back of the Gundam uh, chest. You see, I already did it, I dropped it. Gotta have better hands. That's what I gotta get used to. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. And which side goes up? I believe this side goes like that. I could be wrong, but this piece here it does look like it goes like that. Let me see the little lip. Okay, so let's put that back here. Let's go to A8. So plenty of steps to do in this setup. Once I get done with um, probably body and head, I'll cut this video and then we'll do another one. Um, let's do A8. So A8 is going to be four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So, boom. So we wanna make sure we got all the snippies off or all the plastics off. And then what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to put this over here. So, actually this goes this way. It's very interesting. Not sure where this is supposed to go. I believe I had it backwards. That's why. So because it has little plastic bits that I accidentally left on it, it's gonna be harder to put this in. So let me go ahead and grab. Grab this out real. See, this is where we're running into issues. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. So this is the beginning of the chest, as you can see, our pieces that are gonna be hard to do are gonna be PC2s. So let me get back to you guys in one sec. I gotta uh, take care of my kids. All right, I am back. So we're gonna be working, still working on the body. Um, we had some pieces that fell off, which is very unfortunate. So let's go ahead and go to A9. 
And I might have to call this one, this video short as well, which is fine. But I would really like to get some of these pieces put together before we keep going. Ah. So A9 goes like this. Actually goes through here. I may have put it on the wrong. When this does happen too, and you're like, how the heck do I get this off? I believe I had the right piece. Um, but I could have been very, very wrong. So let me see. Let's do this here like this. Um, and we were supposed to put this spot in. So, oh, we forgot A5. That's what we forgot. You'll find that happening a lot too as you do these. It's like, hey, what the heck did I just miss? So with this one, I'm gonna snip this off and then we're gonna do an extra snip here. And then we'll go ahead and put these guys back into play. So they're gonna go out like this. Abel, what'd you do? What'd you do, Abel? All right, so. Okay, so put that piece back on. So when it comes to these pieces, if I get, uh, if I keep, they keep falling out, what I do is I do put a little glue on them. Um, I'm assuming I'm gonna do this as well for Gundams. Um, it's not a downer, just remember you can't take the, you, well, you're not gonna take the model apart anyway. Just remember to use the correct glue, so, so that way you, don't have to deal with toxic fumes. All right, so we have that done. Ellie, stop it. Let me get back to you guys. All right, sorry about that. My kid was throwing stuff down the uh, to the basement. So that was turning into an issue. All right, so let's do A5. A5 can be locked up. Not shoot anything. Just to live one day. Oh, that works so much better. It's so much nicer. All right, so, oh, that's why you don't, I see now. That's why this piece goes first. And then we do this and we do this. Okay, gotta be very, very careful when you do this. Sorry, I just came with my bridge. I've been watching a lot of Peppa Pig lately. Okay, so we, then we do we do A5 first. So in A5, we can go like this, and then that's going to leave those in there for good now. Oops. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I dropped my snippies. And um, they're pretty sharp, so I think they got stabbed a little. So, we got the snippies there, done with that. And then, and you just gotta watch me drop things over and over again. Okay, so we have this piece here. This piece needs to go like this. Let's take the ball out there. Okay, 
And then... What you can do is if you don't drop it a thousand times, you should be able to pull that out. All right, so that was a little harder than I thought it would be. This, this is what it happens when you do you do a cheaper set. So we need to grab the ball again, put that on here. Boom, boom. Okay. And then what we're going to do here, so this is why it was so in, in necessary. Boom. Okay. So you can actually move your Gundam guy when you're done with it. And then you put that on there. I think is how it goes. Yep. So that's the first piece of the Gundam done. Um, we're not done yet. So we have to do A14. What piece came off here? A9. Uh, we needed to put in okay so my jeez my jeez my jeez my jeez so we go here and then we're going to do this here. So there we go. And then... That goes into there like that. So, when that happens, you want to use your snippies because your snippies are a multi tool. And let me get back to you guys, and we'll probably cut this video from here. So, we need to grab this piece here. Let me just make sure I got this right. So. That's actually fine where it's at, A9. And then we do the bow. Where did I put the bow? And this is the problem right off the bat, is I think I'm missing the ball. I believe the ball is actually in, actually in one of these. So that's interesting. Players right here. So, so we can take the snippers off here. Shoot. All right. So you don't want to have to do this multiple times. <laughs> but if you're me, then you're starting to see that I make a couple of mistakes, huh? So go here, grab this to here. So go there like that. So go here like this. And the reason why you don't glue right off the bat as well is because you might have incorrect spots like I did. So this, actually the sheet's pretty informative of like what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, even if it's in Japanese. But I made a little bit of a mistake and that's kind of hurting me. So I'm sure plenty of people go and have to rebuild the same Gundam many times. All right, so that piece is done. It is in, boom, boom. So A9 is gonna go down here and then A5 is actually gonna go right here. 
So there is a lot of parts inside of this one piece. And then we open up this piece right here. Boom. Look at that guys, we have the chest piece done. That is awesome. So now we can go to PC1, which is going to be PC1, PC1. This is A, this is C, there it is, PC1. And PC1, we have two and one. So let's go to one. And then we're gonna do A14 on that one. And A14 is going to be this piece right here. So let's go ahead and use the snippers, the snippy snippies. Boom, like that, go like that. So then what we're gonna do here is you're gonna have this piece go out the front like that. And then you're gonna have this piece go on top like that. So we are nearly complete with the headpiece. So then we go to C, uh, C24 and we're looking for the back piece. So I see it already. So we're gonna grab that and we'll go ahead and put that into the Gundam. So the jetpack piece. So C36 is going to be my next piece. And remember, if you guys get always get tired of this, you you can always um, stop and come back to it. That's that's the best thing I've learned. C36, but you want to get them done. So you don't want to spend too much time dawdling around because you probably will never finish it. And that's the honest to God truth there. So you can put your blasters in. And this piece was actually not made right. So on the left one. So then you have your little errors here. And so then from there you can do your B8, B9. So let's go over here. And then we're gonna find our B8 and B9. So very very uh not very hard to find the piece it is going to be when you have to put it together so b8 and b9 and i've i've known um for a while i've got a grown patient when it comes to doing these b8 and we're gonna find b8 here and then we're gonna do this here super careful with not losing any of the pieces like I almost did so b8 to b9 so b9 is actually going to be this so try not to use too much oomph like I just did okay all right so we go here this goes down here this goes through into here. So some of these actually could have been probably molded together before it got to there. But it is what it is. And we're going to grab this over here. And we're going to do this over here. So we have our little antennae. And that is it for the body today. So let me go ahead and let's call it on this one. Um, so with me today, you've been building an RX-78-2 Gundam EFSF prototype class, prototype close combat mobile suit. And that is the chest piece, and we can call it from there. Thank you for following Gumberling Gamer. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, and anything else, you can send me a direct message. Uh, if you guys like this video, please, please subscribe. Um, also, a like would do me wonders. And uh, yeah, thank you. Have a good day, guys.